got one of my permissions to give a little run through on the Hawk LRF 600 Professional which I've got my hands on for a while to do a few reviews and a bit of testing on. Um, first impressions of the product, so I've had a little run through with it in the back garden, so nothing too major. Um, but it's extremely accurate, obviously my garden's not very big so I've only tested it over a space of sort of like 30, 40 yards. Um, but obviously pacing out to that is what the rangefinder is exactly telling me what it's at. Um, first impressions of the piece is that it's, it literally weighs next to nothing. I mean, it, it don't feel like it's going to break if you drop it. You've got the carry strap, you've got a rubber coating on top and on the bottom for a good grip for when you're actually looking through it for the, to find your ranges. Um, you've got the different modes on there. You've got the standard mode, for just straight shooting. You've got the beeline mode, which um, measures the horizontal distance. Then you've got the height and you've got the, the angle mode. To be fair, 90% of the time I'm more or less going to be using it for the straight mode because I'll be using it with the HMR, 17 HMR, so therefore I'm going to be shooting more or less in a dead straight line. And I, really, for the sort of angle mode, the height mode, and the beeline mode, I suggest that it would probably be more used for that, for the higher cal rifles. Um, like the 243, the 308, etc. Uh, but for the air rifle, obviously, I'm just bringing this down here this evening to give it a little test to see what it's actually, what it performs like. Um, I know what my rifle is set up with. I've got the R10 with me today with the Hawk Side Rider on top. Um, so, this is a very, very accurate rifle that I've got. I know what the crosshairs are set up to, what my ranges are, what the milk dots are set to. So I should be able to get quite a few rabbits and I obviously want to test to see how far they are sitting from me because um, obviously I don't usually get to do that, it's rough, it's rough judgement so um, you're never 100% spot on um, so yeah, I'm going to obviously give it a review there'll be, there'll be different modes um, hopefully I'll be able to do a bit of filming through the lens as it is close eye, so it's not the same as sort of like trying to film through the back end of your of your rifle scope. Um, so yeah, more to follow. Alright guys, so just gonna have a look run through of the features and stuff that are included in the LRF 600. Um, firstly, I'll just show you how the battery basically goes into it. I've already unscrewed the cap off the back. Um, you get the CR2 battery, they supply it with this, it's a tracer battery supplied with this. Um, you know, obviously you screw the, screw the cap on. And it's as simple as that. Um, so yeah, absolutely amazed at how light this actually is, considering how powerful it is. Um, it goes out to, um, a range of 600 meters so that stands in a sort of 655 yards now i've tested it out on a small shetland pony which was according to the rangefinder 356 yards away from me so then obviously as you do took 356 yards out to the halts obviously he moved by the time i got there but i tried, tried to sort of my best to keep my eyes where he was standing and to be fair it, this was deadly accurate um, I've, I've tested it a few other times just to sort of like get the ranges um, and yeah absolutely fantastic um, so yeah it's got a quality design to it you've got the rubber coating on the top with the finger slots so it's obviously nice and easy to hold on to and you've got the grip so it's not going to sort of drop out of your hands obviously you've got the carry strap which is handy uh, the weight of it is actually 180 grams for those of you that might actually want to actually know how heavy the product is um so yeah we've got the twist up eye cap on this obviously that's to sort of like focus in when you're looking through the eyepiece um you've got the on button and the, to go through the different modes it's got the automatic turn off after 15 seconds which is also very very handy because obviously if you're if you're if something runs out into view and you're trying to spot it 
find out your distance and then you sort of put it down or put chuck it in your bag and you obviously forget to turn it off but obviously it does it for you so that's very very useful um, so yeah, you've got the twist out eyepiece it doesn't come out too far which is nice nice and compact um, so then um, obviously with the with the automatic switch off the battery life is going to last a hell of a lot longer um, then with the display icons inside I'm going to put up a I'm going to put a picture up on the video and basically run through what each of the icons is and what sort of the what the different modes do and how you sort of best off to use them um, I've only used it on one mode so far obviously I've had a fl flick through the other modes um, and like I said before in a previous clip it can be quite obviously quite um, sort of like testing to sort of like understand what the other modes are for but once you have a read through the manual that it really does simplify them so yeah I'll go through the I'll put a picture up so you can see what it looks like because as I said it was a bit hard for me to film through this uh, right then guys so what you see now is what, what you actually see through the eyepiece of the LRF 600 so at the bottom you've got the laser and the battery indicator obviously the battery is going to let you know when your battery is getting low um, and the laser is basically to tell you when the laser is firing out to uh, get your readings for the distances. Um, the bars above that with the little um, area icon, that's basically a signal bar. So when they're at full strength, you're going to get exact, very, very exact readings. Um, and then we've got the, you've got, the you've got the aim points obviously in the middle with the horizontal and vertical guide on there. Um, then the distance, you've got the different modes on there you've got the B line which is basically for the horizontal distance to the target it's a lot more simple in sort of manual when it's sort of when you run through the manual um, but basically then the high with the little triangle there is for the um, as for the height difference mode um, so basically it measures the vertical distance between two points so obviously if you're holding it up slightly to the, from the ground then it's going to read the, the the distance that way then you've got the angle mode and that's that that measures the angle of the projection and it's always it'll always be measured to the nearest half a degree so if you was aiming downhill you'd get a minus symbol that will appear on there as you can see it next to the the, the three digits in the middle of the screen there which is very useful so then obviously you've got the MS which is obviously for meters and you've got the DEGS for the degrees and the YDS for the yards and then the H1 and the H2 is basically letting you know which which um, height mode you're using because you can use it the high high mode with the triangle so that's obviously the height difference and the other height mode which is for the target which is in re relation to the finder which is basically the level dis the level that you're holding the range you're off of the ground and etc um so yeah i hope these pointers uh made a little bit of sense to you like i say it's a lot more simplified than the manual but this just wanted to have a little run through to actually let you see what it looks like through the piece right so yeah guys um that's pretty much the, the the view that you have through the lens on the LRF 600. Um, I will actually do a bit more field testing with it. That was just mainly sort of like just a little run through of the products. Um, I will do some footage of myself out and about with the air rifle and the HMR, um, testing it out to get my points whilst I'm out and about. Um, so yeah, um, stay tuned for more.